The drafting competency questions are always the first questions that are asked during the exam, uh, and so are, and so they are too here in the sample exam. Uh, they generally take the same structure, or they always take the same structure. That is, they give you a an original view A and ask you what SolidWorks view type is used to create the secondary view uh, B. Uh, yeah, they're always multiple choice questions and. They can be a bit tricky because they do require you to be pretty confident uh, knowing, uh, have a pretty good familiarity with the program, but if you're aware of a couple little tricks, you can work it out in the exam to make sure that you are getting the right answer. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. So one way you could do it is by opening a, creating a new drawing, file new, create a new drawing. I'm going to do A3. By adding an arbitrary part, uh, I'm just going to use one of the parts that were uh, given in the in the asset for the assembly uh, modeling questions, uh, the assembly modeling exercises in this exam. And then I'll give a isometric view and. Uh, place it right in the middle, it doesn't matter where. We're just using it to see what happens for different view types. I might scroll down and uh, make it a little bit bigger. Doesn't really matter, this is just for our own learning. And then, use the view layout. Uh, all these are the views that are generally asked in the uh, drafting competency questions. So if you just have a play before the exam and work out what each of these views do, then it should be good, um, a good start. So we'll have a look at this uh, to create a drawing view B. So to create view B, is it A, B, C, or D? Just looking at it, I'm pretty sure it's B. So I'll just test that uh, using our arbitrary part in SolidWorks. So I'll return to SolidWorks uh, and go to our crop view. Uh, for a crop, you need to sketch a spline uh, around one of your areas. So I'll go to the sketch, drop down the menu, and go to spline. And then I will just click around an area of our part and click OK. If it doesn't automatically come up, then that's still fine. Once we highlight our spline and go to view layout, crop view, then it should just give us what's left. So looking at that, you can be pretty confident that that is exactly what they're after for question one A, oh, for question one. That seems to be how they created B. Uh, if you wanted even more information, and this is what I really recommend you do instead of drawing on an arbitrary part, is use the SolidWorks help uh, help directory. It's actually really good. It gives you really detailed answers. So if I'm confident it's crop, I can go here, press OK, and it'll start giving me more information on crop. And then we can see our crop view. And then under crop view, it says, it gives us a detailed explanation of what crop, uh, of what, yeah, a crop is. Uh, you can compare this to, uh, so section views, broken out views, detailed views. If you want to get a really good understanding of the other, the other options, uh, but for me that's good enough. The crop seems to be exactly what we're looking for, so that would be my answer for question one. We can take a similar approach for answering question two. Uh, just having a look at the images and the options that we have for the answer, I'm pretty confident that uh, section B is a broken out section. Uh, if we're not confident that we're sure of what a broken out section is compared to a section or a detail or a detail or a line section, uh, it might just be worth checking with the SolidWorks help directory. Uh, so returning to SolidWorks, I'm pretty sure it's a broken out section so I can type in broken out section and click enter. Uh, I've just been having some trouble, so hopefully you can navigate your way to this screen, which is the broken out section in the help directory uh, that I've prepared earlier. 
and as you can see here, a broken out section view cuts away a portion of an assembly in a drawing view to expose the inside. Returning to our question, that's exactly what they're doing. They're exposing the inside of, an in of a larger assembly. Oh, this could just be a part. <coughs> so, for the drafting competency questions, uh, it's good to have a could have a, um, a solid understanding of the different tools before entering the exam. If you have a little stress in the exam and you can't remember exactly what it is, there are a number of techniques that you can use uh, to overcome the questions, but uh, if I could recommend something, it would just be spending some time on it early before the exam, uh, because then these questions can be really quick and you can get the ball rolling. You really don't want to spend too much time on these questions. They aren't weighted too heavily. I think they're only like five marks each, or five points each, uh, compared to the assembly questions, which are weighted something like 30, 30 marks each. Uh, so if you look at it at the value compared to how much time you put into it, uh, they're not overly that high. But it's just a good way to start thinking and start the uh, start the exam confidently. So I hope that helps. And yeah, just spend some time practicing uh, and just familiarizing familiarizing yourself uh, with these views in particular.